If you want to get ahead in ZBrush, you should be aware of some of the very common issues beginners run into. The first one is you've opened up ZBrush and you notice that the canvas is too small compared to the rest of your screen. Don't worry. Go to Document and hit New Document. You don't have to save and simply drag on your sphere. The new documents will automatically know the available space on your monitor and adapt to it. If you press Ctrl and click one time on the background, it will automatically mask out your entire mesh and make it darker like this. If you try to model on it now, it won't work and you might get confused. Trust me, I did when I was learning. If your model looks dark and you can't do anything to it, it's probably masked, so simply Ctrl and drag outside on the canvas to unmask it. Let's say you're ready to start poly painting. You grab your poly paint brush and you select what color you want. What if the entire mesh changes color to match your new selection? That is very common. That just means that there is no base color applied and the whole thing is just previewing the color that you've chosen. To get through this problem, simply go to Subtool and click on this little paintbrush icon. That will automatically make your model white and ready for coloring. Sometimes you'll be busy modeling and you'll start turning around and notice that there's a copy of your model still in the canvas or worse, multiple copies. All this means is that you accidentally took a screenshot by pressing Shift S. Press Ctrl N to clear the document. You can use this tool to take screenshots and put them on the canvas like so. Shift S, Shift S. Sometimes I like to do it from multiple angles so I can kind of see them as I'm working. They don't update, of course, but they're still fun to look at and can be very useful for rendering. Let's say you need to resize the document. You would go to Document, select the size you want your document to be. I'm going to do 1024 by 1024, always a safe choice, and hit Resize. You'll notice that my model has been squished. Actually, it hasn't been squished at all. This is just, again, a 2.5D version of my model. My model's right here and it's totally fine. Simply press Ctrl N and you'll clear your document. Then just drag on your model again and hit edit mode. That being said, anytime you find yourself dragging on new versions of your model, check to see if edit mode is on. And if it's not, go ahead and turn it on. The one 3D version of your model will be the one that's editable. If you're ever working on a really thin part of your model, and you turn around and you notice that the backside has been totally deformed, simply go to your brush menu, auto masking and turn on back face mask. This will make sure that all the back faces remain unchanged. Let's try that again. Voila. I hope these little lessons help you save time in the future should you encounter them.